But what's uh what's going on, Bryce? Sorry, I know I was like really into that world. <laughs> I didn't properly uh question, but um I hope everything's okay with uh what's going on with you. So welcome on in. Uh give me an idea where we're at. Uh, we were, we just got the time egg. Uh, Chrono did die. Apparently got obliterated by Lavos. Uh, we fought Mag. <laughs> I still regret the decision, but, uh, we fought Magus. <laughs> I killed Magus. I, I didn't realize I was going to kill him. But, uh, we fought Magus and killed him. Uh, we got his amulet. And then we ended up having to go to the festival. We found a clone body. Uh, also, the Black Omen, I think it's called, it's kind of just floating around everywhere, so it's kind of been nice. And, uh, yeah, we tried doing that once, we got our butt kicked. Eventually, we found out that we could have gotten the clone. So I went back to the clone stuff, got the clone doll from uh, Belthasar, next to him, the whole thing with Dalton on the ship. <laughs> he went somewhere. Uh, and then Balthasar told us to go to Tethbeak to revive Chrono, potentially. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah, we did in like maybe like two minutes of this and then we kind of just backed out. Yeah, this is where we're currently at. I'm pretty sure we're getting closer potentially to the end. Who knows how much more we still have left? Uh, I'm sure we can. Okay, I see some fighting. Uh, I use the magic, but I was like, I am too invested into this now. Actually, you know, they're healing. Uh, let's do... Oh, what is going on with my attacks? What the hell? For some reason I was like, I didn't realize I was like, selecting like dual attacks. There we go. We're off to a great start at the moment. Lucas is sleeping. She's fine. She'll wake up. See this. Yeah, he will start using some magic attacks. See how we can do with this. I get out of that. He believed in myself and like the dull decks. <laughs> and that's throwing me off. So I think I need to get myself out of those. All right, so as far as I know, I think we have to climb to the top of Death Peak. And that will eventually lead us to where we need to go. I don't need to go. I don't know if we can go there. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. I think jump across. Wait, I want to go over there. I don't know if there's anything there. We'll just do this again, that's fine.
Just trying to remember exactly where I've explored. So I remember going left. I didn't remember there a path being there, but maybe I missed something to climb up. If I did, I'll just go back to locate it and then, you know, climb up. Okay, just double check. There was nothing. There is something. But I don't think I can get it from here. I think I have to uh, go around, possibly. Yeah, so I did do the right thing. All right, well, good to know. I don't know why they keep throwing me all the way down to Doltek every single time I uh, try some Robo stuff. I mean, maybe is Did I attack recently? No? no? I don't think so. I don't think I've ever attacked recently with Robo, like magic wise. Only I got that about, so that's probably what's the thing. Okay. Test save. Huh. I was trying to think of my maybe I use one of my shelters while I'm here. Might as well. Grab this. Barrier ring. Barrier ring. Not bad. Just trying to decide, like, do I want to equip that right now? <laughs> I think that's the thing. It's like, that's not bad. But do I need it now? I should have went down first. It's fine. I'll try to beat them up before anything can happen. I have, like, the weirdest feeling they're going to be, like, one-hit KO enemies. But it looks like their attacks take, like, maybe half of my HP. At least close to it. Anyway, I want to go south. I think that's where I can probably check where those chests were at before. Oh wait, no, I came from up here. Never mind. <laughs> Thought that was actually leading me somewhere. I was like, this is a path I've never taken yet. Yes, it is. All right. Uh, yeah, I guess I can go north. What? Is that Lavos? Um. Wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> It looks like Lavos, but it's like a small little Lavos. I might go it. Shell counter, Lavos spot. Okay, it's Lavos. What? Now I know why they gave me a save. Thanks, game. He's confused. I was not prepared for this. Yeah, see, I think I just want to 
As I want to die. <laughs> That's fine. The heck? So magic clearly does nothing. I think I want to try it again, but I'm trying I'm gonna try to be a little bit more prepared. Or at least just trying to think better of the moves I choose. Maybe watch my attacks until I'm like buffed up. Like it's too healing and stuff early on. Gotta be a little careful here. Of course he's asleep. I'm thinking buff myself up and then just attack. Seem to be better prepared for that compared to the last time. As long as everyone's like hasted and protected, then I can start attacking. Just do like another heal beam. Maybe play it safe, heal Robo up a little bit. Let's do a regular attack. I have to try. How am I supposed to fight that? to sleep. Oh, you can target his mouth. Okay, that's good. No, I did not realize that. All right. All right, let's start doing that then. Should be fine against one attack. I'm going to have to heal next turn. Okay, one attack its mouth. I should be fine. Like, as long as I can get some attacks on that mouth, should be fine. Don't want to, do not want to attack the shell. Shell can be killed. Let's try to get everyone killed every turn. That should be fine. I want to use flamethrower. <laughs> now we'll attack with Robo this turn. So I know I'm like, I know Robo can do some big damage. <laughs> Alright. We'll play it safe and heal. I don't know how much damage I'm going to take. So let's just get everyone at least a little healed up. Then we'll attack. That's fine. We'll take one of those. And probably take like two or three. Yeah. So I'm like, let's just attack. Oh. So we just kill Lavos or we just kill like a Lavos like baby? I don't know. If we just saved the whole world, that'd be amazing. <laughs> Without crying, I'm like, we just saved the whole world. No big deal. Alright, GG's. Got a new arm though. That's pretty cool.
Let's see, do I need a tree here? Okay. <laughs> I'm just thinking, I'm like, I think I need something to like, keep me up. Hopefully not all their attacks do like half damage every time. So I'm like, it's... okay, it looks like it's just half every time. If that's the case, I'm not worried. I'll just heal later. It's fair and just heal after the bound. I'm good. Arise. What's that? First, let's heal. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll check where it arises. It is fully heal on a death. That's awesome. Brave sword. So it's probably for frog. Yep. Get attack boost. Magic goes down, but it's fine. There's a lot of chests in here. I have thought about changing my team up a little, a little bit. I think I'm invested too much into Marley at this point to get rid of her. So I do truly enjoy using Marley. She's great. Gotta have your white page though. Because <laughs> to me it feels like Luca is definitely black mage. Marley is like a white mage. Robo and Frog are kind of like that mix class. It's like what blue mage, red mage, whatever they are. I'm thinking in like Square Enix terms. <laughs> They're like hybrids. Like they can do a lot of damage. Actually, Robo can do a lot of physical damage. Frog's up there too, but oh, sweet. Guess I'll go there. To say I gotta go back though. I don't know, I might get the frog a try. Like again, she does a great amount of damage. Actually, you can probably just like Megaton Bomb. I'll just try that. Probably overkill, but I need to try it. <laughs> Way overkill. That's the thing with Luka though, she does so much damage with her attacks. Especially if it's like an area of effect. Such a nice thing to have. So we're about to fight a bunch of skeletons, we're fine. <laughs> we should be fine. Uh, I'm gonna do that again. I'll, I'll give a quick kill just in case. I don't need it. But we'll do it. I don't think I need it at least. I have a weird feeling they could do potentially like one hit KO everyone somehow, some way. Well, at least that takes some out. I am going back to my save point so I could uh, use another shelter and get everything back up. I was actually thinking about my MP and like ethers because I'm getting a lot of ethers on top of everything else. Um, I'll play it safe. It's like, who knows what comes up? Like, lava this could be up here. Who knows? Alright, so let's use that shelter again. Lovely. His room was level 40 though. It's kind of nice. Yeah, I was wondering, like, what's going to be up here? <laughs> Hidden Sickle. That's, uh, I think I know who that belongs to, but, uh, it, no. Yeah, he ain't in the party. 
I regret that decision so much. <laughs> Wasn't intentional. Alright, I gotta check something real quick. Give me one sec. Oh, cool. Okay, there's another level. <laughs> Great. It's worth to fight a lot of these. Um, you know, I think I do want to try Frog. Really use some team in a while. I mean, worst case, we lose here and then we have to redo it again. But I figure same strategy, probably. Just give this a try. And the only difference now is I don't have protect, but it's fine. Uh, I can see, see, taste everyone. I just have Robo keep everyone alive and then haste away. Or just have Robo go to sleep. <laughs> I wonder if this would actually wake him up though. Nope, he just sleeps faster. Actually, did he even get hasted? Oh, he's just confused. I don't think it worked. Because he was asleep. Just heal. I want to throw that up there. <laughs> Just for this bell. Oh no, he did get hasted. Perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna use a uh, definitely a robo heal if I get the chi. Yeah, I'm actually really have a trouble. Why is frog? Okay. I knew I'm actually gonna attack. So I don't think I'm gonna get the opportunity to heal Marley. Oh, that worked then. Okay. I think the Lucas strategy worked a little bit better. <laughs> I think I like the idea like Frog does more damage. I'm also costing myself a lot of defensive uh, attacks. By buffing, I should say. Protects. Oh, you guys. The thing here is icy and slick. Be careful. Fall and you'll have to start over. Oh, no. It's icy? Oh. It's kind of like more like windy and icy. All right, we're good. I think. Is that really happening? Uh, I want to get to that chest. Go, just go. <laughs> All right, we got <laughs> the Yaksha blade. What's that? So like a, I think it's a chrono blade, like a chrono weapon. Oh god. All right, let's go. We're near where those chests were. I can climb down that way. Uh, push the shell, climb the shell. Okay. Dark Helm. 
and equip that. Frog. Let's get a frog. Why not? Don't know if Robo could have, but you know, we'll give a frog. <laughs> Honestly, we might as well just use our shelters. We have a lot. I might need to use it every single time, but we might as well just use it. Lavas again, of course. <laughs> it's a bunch of lavas. It's like little bees. Do you have heal? Right, let me do a heal with Frog. See how he does with his heal compared to the Robos. I figure it'd be similar. It's worse. <laughs> it's far worse. He attacks more often though. That's the only positive I think I even see out of it. At least he could get like a couple quick heals in if I need it. Yeah, I can get some attacks off of Robo here. Alright, I was a little worried. Am I gonna get like a get a, uh, heal in here? One sec. I think we're good this time around. Last time I wasn't so sure. This time I'm a little bit more comfortable. Uh, let's do... Yeah, let's go all out. My, I was like, my Alexi's gonna fall asleep. <laughs> oh, we'll try going all out here. I literally just want Marley to be supported and heal. And have her going forward to their stuff. Let them heal every once in a while. Yeah, we're good. No, we're not good. I mean, we won with a shell. Glacial freeze. Alright, hold up. Oh, they said push the shell. Got it. Alright, so. That work? Yeah, good enough. I forgot they were like, push the shell, climb the shell. Like, why is there still a shell here? <laughs> uh, defense is only three, but prevents a lock. So my defense goes down a little bit, but as a result, it's actually pretty good. Good for the robo. Like my dead defense set does go down, but it looks like it could be beneficial. This is it, the summit of Death Peak. Sorry, I think maybe I should have healed. <laughs> you who fear the night and stand against the darkness, please give us your strength. Chrono. The pendant's reacting. Shattered, but we've come so far. Do not despair. It was foolish to think we could cheat death. Please answer me. Don't leave me. Corona. 
Yeah, don't they say like you have to like really like mean it? If I recalled. Oh. Chrono. Like stone statues, an unsettling sight. It appears that time has been suspended. Can we grab him? It's Marley. Luca. We just need to exchange the Doppel doll for Chrono. Chrono? It's Chrono, you're alive. A relief. Sir Chrono, thank goodness you're alright. I'd remain here no longer than we must. Let's let us be gone. So if this entire time we saw in the cutscene, they actually got like the doll actually got blown up, and it wasn't him. I don't know. If that's how time works. Or maybe they legit saw him die. That could have been the other thing. Just changing history. Chrono, Chrono, you're back. No worse for the wear, I trust. Yeah, it's alive. There we go. Because what the hell is going on? We were all waiting for you to come back. can't. Don't ever leave us like that again. A lot of things happened, Chrono. While you were away, first we, and then after that, so we, but Chrono, are you even listening? There's so much I still have to tell you. Killed Magus. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Are we playing? Okay, we're moving. So all went well. No, don't think me. I merely placed a piece upon the board. It was on my hand that moved it. Who would thank someone, thank the ones who cared enough to see their friend return to them. By the way, the wings of time have come looking for you. They seem to have a heart and mind all their own. You wish to fight Lavos, correct? Many paths lie before you. You might choose to leap into that bucket. Or fly the wings of time to the day of Lavos. Or there's a black omen which now straddles time, seeking to summon Lavos yet again. Such folly, lusting so greedily after power that the power wields you. It is up to you to decide when and where you will face Lavos. However, do not think you stand alone. I have glimpses, albi vague, of events, people, and places that will empower you. A forge brought back to life by the sheer determination of a woman in the Middle Ages. The fortress of one of Magus's three former generals in the Middle Ages. A task to be done in the future, and the birthplace of machines. I should probably write this down. A prehistoric stone that will shine with the light of all the ages of the world. The reckless spirit of a proud knight slain by Magus in the Middle Ages and lingering even in the present. An object of legend in the Middle Ages that sparkles like a rainbow. Speak to your companions, some among you may well know the figures behind the events which I have seen. Borrow the might of all these lives throughout the ages, let their strength become your own, for only then you can hope to defeat the enemy you face. Such is the power required should you wish to change the future. I will remain here and bear witness to the world's fate. Okay, well first off, let's, uh, yeah, see Chrono. <laughs> let me change my party up a bit. Uh, let's get Chrono in there. I want Marley on the team now. 
I think I'm gonna leave it like this. That was a lot to kind of just throw at you. So I'm like, okay, there's a lot of different things I could probably do. So that was the bucket the entire time. I could take the bucket to fight Lavis. Yeah, maybe not yet. <laughs> okay, defeated hour. Um... I need to brainstorm a little bit. So, I don't remember a single thing you just told me because there's a lot. Uh, I remember a lot being mentioned about the Middle Ages. They also mentioned talk to your party members. They might know more. Like okay, you ladies weeping over you left and right. The spirit of a proud knight. Could it be? Maybe we should check that out. Crow, 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 crow. Fight Lava, strong armor. Isla Village have. Go see. Isla go. Boring here. <laughs> Isla's village has strong armor. Alright. You know, we'll bring her with us just for the armor. <laughs> or we'll do that one first, and then we'll maybe check out the night stuff. I want to do all the companion things. I have to go through her time. Uh, I'm trying to remember which one's prehistoric. There we go, that's one. Actually, no, I can jump into the, whatchamacallit? Uh, the wings. I'd rather do that, the potch. Take this, take off, and then we can go wherever we want. Let's go to prehistory. <laughs> Chrono's kind of like, what is this? Okay, so Lila said her village has the armor. So just check it out. It could be anywhere. Find strange rock, but feel icky when touched to throw away. Okay, happy water. It could be in her place. So if we had strong armor, where would you want to put it? Probably uh, in an area where the chief is. Hey, Isla, Isla, okay, Kino, okay. Lava's fall, reptite's gone, that good. But get cold now. Hunt Benamini Beast. But Kino, no stop, Isla, no worry, leave, leave to Kino. Okay. Isla Village. That's why I'm like, where the frick is this? <laughs> like, is that it? I wonder where this armor is. I want to climb up. Could be the traitor. Like him. Big strong armor. Yeah, use many rubies. Trade for petal, fang, horn, feather, ten each. Yes. I have nothing to trade. I don't have any feathers or anything. Horn, fang, petal, feather, 10 each. Oh, I need more horn petals. Okay. Trade for petal, fang, horn, feather, 10 each. Okay. So I need a couple more horns and a couple more feathers. Petals. Horns and petals. All right. Just go through that one area. <laughs> we'll get it eventually. Bonjour, mon um, uh, words, French man. Canadian. Creole. Hello, sir. How you doing? I saw right before I went live, you got your car. How is it, by the way? I didn't get to respond. By afternoon when I got home, it's been busy. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying it. We're officially at endgame. With Chrono Trigger, but I'm kind of just doing like a side quest before the final boss. Then I can kind of take it, do a number of options apparently. 
to uh, fight him. I got a pedal. How many pedals? Just one? Yeah, so I need four horns and one pedal. Yeah, the new wheels like it a lot. Noise. They weren't kidding about the uh, Ice Age stuff, were they? The beasts are gone. The rock, the rocks are still here, but all the animals and beasts are gone. The remains are still there, but interesting. I mean, I'm not overly eager to pay for a car again, but otherwise, scream. <laughs> Alright, I do feel that. Everyone I've been talking to recently is, uh, he's co worker wise as well. Everyone's been talking about new cars lately. One guy worth work was talking about how he wanted to get uh, a Ford truck. But his excuse is more like he just wants it. It's not. It's kind of the opposite of uh, four hours, I suppose. Don't know exactly what kind of car I want. Do you want to get a car in the future? I think within the next year, I want to get a new one. But it won't be for a while, I don't think. Unless my car just completely breaks down. What kind of car was it again? A year wise and stuff? Oh, it was brand new. Okay. Right, we got another pedal and we got a thing. So we're gun on pedals. Any horns? Who gives horns? Also, the thing where Frog I was thinking of, I think I know where that is. Like, obviously I know the time period, but I think I actually know where. Well, it looks like it could be a dungeon. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I had 55 kilometers on it when I picked it up. 34 miles, roughly. <laughs> that's it? Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty nice. Only 34. It's about, uh... Math serves me not well in this situation. I can honestly say, it's a lot better than mine. <laughs> I do desperately need to get a good one. But that's, uh, that's good. I know I probably want to get like a sedan. I haven't really thought about the actual type of car. I want something a little bit bigger because mine's very, very small. Uh, cause I drive a Nissan Sentra, but year wise gives you an idea. Uh, mine's 2005. <laughs> So 2005 Nissan Sentra. Yeah. So it's it's an older car. I got it a while back. Ooh, horns, nice. Um, I got it a while back because I just I just wanted a car. I think I paid like five thousand for it, and then eventually I paid it off. I wasn't making much money at the time. So I paid it off, I don't know, it's probably like two years now, probably since I've paid it off. Paid it off a while ago. Let's just say that. <laughs> and after I paid it off, I'm like, yeah, centers are a bit smaller. Do you think you consider buying a new car or pre-owned? I think pre-owned. I've never bought it, like a new car before. But I think I would want to do more research before I decide. So I know hopefully by the end of the year I can at least get my school stuff done. And I actually have a lot of money saved up where I'm comfortable in the fact that I could pay off my student loans. I saved up a lot. <laughs> um, 
Well, obviously, I could also just pay off slowly, which is probably a smarter idea. Uh, but I feel comfortable enough where I could pay it off, like right away if I wanted to. But I also feel like I want to use that money, maybe get something. I think I kind of just want to see where I'm at by the end of the year. <laughs> like once I'm done with school and everything, and kind of like think. One really nice thing about my car is I'm covered seven years, 140,000 kilometers. So how much is that in miles? <laughs> I can't think off the top of my head. My math is not a good thing for me right now. I was already trying to do Wordle earlier on stream and I struggled to figure out what the word was and it looked very simple. 90,000? That's still very good. My only thing is like I primarily only use my car to drive to work. I don't really use it much for anything else. Like, I just needed to get from point A to point B. <laughs> All right, we're actually gone and everything, so let's get that armor. Um, wherever I can get more armor, though. We'll figure it out. But, I don't know. I feel like I still want to get in, like, another sedan, possibly. But probably something a bit bigger than a Sentra. Because <laughs> what I like about my Sentra is that gas is cheap. Gas being cheap is, makes me very happy. Um, and it lasts a while. Ruby armor. Still want? Sure. Oh. Is that the armor? Oh, damn. Reduces fire damage by one fifth. I get another one? Hellhorn Fang Feather. Possibly. Okay. Let's just go back. Try to get one more. I'm probably only going to put somewhere around 15k a year on. And I maybe warranted for the full time period. I'm likely on the car. Okay. I think I'd be roughly like that too. Honestly, I don't even remember how many miles I had on my car when I first got it. I do remember it was decently high, but it was also pretty out. Uh, I've been taking well care of it. Man. Having like a something a little bit bigger, I want. So being a slightly big guy, being that small car doesn't really help. <laughs> so. I don't know. I thought about, yeah, I could get a truck, but I'm like, what's the point of it? <laughs> That's why I'm like, I don't want a truck. Nothing like that. I think I just want like a, sed a slightly bigger sedan. Newer. I don't require like a third party device to connect to, my, to, connect to stuff. Probably. Headroom, probably. I think headroom and leg room, honestly. Because I do feel that I barely fit in the car. Personally, like, I can sit comfortably and I'm fine, but I'm like, I'm barely fitting in there. And that's with my seat all the way back. <laughs> but overall, I mean, it's not horrible. It gets the job done and it get done. I can go from point A to point B, no problem. That's all I really care about. But I trust my car in like long distance travels? Probably not. <laughs> like if I was doing cross country, I wouldn't, I wouldn't drive my car cross country. <laughs> 
So if we like that type of car, something's gonna happen. I'm not that big, so there are concerns I deal with. <laughs> so my Nissan Sentra <laughs> should trade cars. Your 2022 sounds nice. <laughs> Alright, so I need more pedals. No, I mean, it's, you're only downgrading like a 17 year difference. I mean, it's still a nice car. I do want something newer. I just stab. Uh, Hell, I can even get to the point where I could probably we can maybe even consider giving it to my parents and then buying myself a new one. New or pre owned? I don't know. I've had to speak with them about it. So I know my mom has a car that's broken down. Completely broken down, by the way. Um, she wants to get rid of it. The car doesn't run. She just wants to sell for parts, pretty much. Uh, so I could consider not even training my car in, but giving her my old one. But then again, <laughs> the miles. I just don't even know where I would even begin right now. I really have to think about it. I really want to start thinking more probably like after my birthday. <laughs> my semester for school ends, which I haven't really told you about. My semester ends on the 28th. My birthday's on the 25th. And then I decided to start classes in April. <laughs> So once my classes end on the 28th, I'm getting a week off and then I'm immediately starting another semester. So that's going to be fun. I figured I'd just get it all out of the way. Seems like a good call. Yeah. But yeah, I'm really on the school grind. <laughs> I'm also Sort of casually just exploring the idea of getting a new job. Uh, not really taking it that seriously. Like, I'm still happy where I'm working at mostly, but there's some stuff where I'm like, I don't know about. Am I really doing the work that I want to be doing? So I'm kind of just exploring the idea. See if anyone actually reaches out. But yeah, I mean. There's a lot I'm kind of thinking about lately. And usually it's like around this time in like spring, I think. Uh, see more hirees or hiring starting to happen. I have a lot of horns. Like I have no pedals, but I have horns. <laughs> I think only those monsters could really give horns. Yeah. The last thing, I was thinking about it, even with my old job. So I worked retail for years. And I always thought about like, you know, every, I don't know. I feel like after a year or two, I'm con like, I don't want to feel too content where I'm at. And I want to think about like promotions, which my current job has talked to me about, but I don't know where they'd want to put me. It's the thing. And there's a lot of their policies I'm kind of disagreeing with right now. Um, But I don't know, I've been, there's been a lot of thinking lately. <laughs> I'm trying to decide where I want to be at. We're supposed to have like this big evaluation sometime in March or April. So far we have not had it yet. 
But they have given raises already, which is nice. They, they give me actually a decent raise. But it's like, it's like one of those things where it's like, I got a decent raise, but I'm not happy with the work I'm doing. That's the thing. <laughs> I get it, I never stop playing things. True. True. <laughs> I have so many different mapped out possibilities of how things for from here for me. <laughs> it's very true. That is something I can't vouch for. Alright, like two more pedals. Give me a pedal, please, or two. Probably won't. I think it's those monsters I need to beat up. My idea is I want to. Yeah, I figured. Uh, I want to get into like cybersecurity field. Like that's why I've been studying, so that's where I want to go. But everything I ever do that's related to IT is always sort of like customer related. It's because I've always had that customer service background for years. And I just want to get out of that. And so far, I haven't found the opportunity to get out of that. I think it's going to be a little nerve wracking once I eventually do. Because I know I will. But when I eventually do, it's, I feel like it's going to be a weird experience. Because I'm like, okay, I'm not really <laughs> yeah, on like certain service, customer service things anymore. It's more like a little bit more technical. Which will it'll be nice. It's just... Something to adjust to. Like going to this job, I felt pretty confident. Now I'm kind of just like, I'm done with it. <laughs> I want something new. Uh, like right now, I'm legitimately considering whether the best long term move for me is to sell my house or buy a condo in cash. Those all sound amazing. <clears throat> okay, it's just Ruby armor. Yes. I can get it. Can I give everyone ruby armor? Yes. 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 I think I need to get everyone ruby armor. Maybe. Or maybe not. Maybe not right now. Maybe I, I mean, I'm getting to the point where I'm thinking I'm going to be doing this off stream anyway. <laughs> Like a little bit of grinding off stream, but all right. So it's good to know I can get armor here. I want to put frog on my team. We going to the Middle Ages. But yeah. Where was he talking about? What is that? Never mind. Yo, what is this? Ozzy's fort? Have I been there? Probably. Didn't know Ozzy had a fort. <laughs> I don't think I've ever went here though. I lied, I have been here. No, I haven't. I have. I haven't. Not in this time period. What's the matter? Has something startled you? Talking apes. Hairless talking apes. Run for your lives! Wait. Are you truly talking apes? You're a rude one, aren't you? No, we're not apes, we're humans. I see, so the legend was true after all. What do you mean, Elder? It is most ancient legend. Long ago, hordes of vicious monsters came around the village, threatening our people entirely. But just when hope was lost, the most unusual heroes appeared. Talking apes? I remember doing that. 
I need a major cash influx that I won't have to pay interest on. <laughs> Hit me with ideas. Um, listen, I can barely handle myself right now. You want me to talk about your interest? <laughs> Um, streaming, creating the video game, uh, YouTube, uh, TV reviews, car reviews, that's where I'm at, talking apes, <laughs> creating a video game I am working on, alright, well at least we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Not another and no time at all, they drove the monsters away and saved the village. They're talking about they're talking about me. YouTube and Twitch, I'm the last person people would watch. Please, come on. I mean look at me. <laughs> so these apes are the heroes from the legend. I believe they may well be. Pardon me for being so forward, but might we contract your assistance? Contract? I would propose a contract by which we would reward you for your fate on, and aid on certain tasks and errands which we cannot do ourselves. If you have the strength to seem to... Okay. And we're agreed. It's the same thing in the last period, too. If it's not too sudden, I have a task for you already. Monsters in the woods beyond have been growing in number of as of late. Would you vanquish some of us for us brave heroes? I'm a hero? Alright, I've always wanted to be one. This is happening again. I have the personality of a cucumber. <laughs> As derogatory to cucumbers, please. How dare you doubt yourself like that? I will now allow it to Twitch stream. I'm counting you to clear the woods of the monsters. You're, you're in my way. So over here? Why don't you stay for the night? Yes, please. <laughs> I was just thinking, am I going to need to use my shelter? Would rather sleep and rest. Thank you. I have to do this for every time period. So this is a little Emperor Pilaf's walking around, no biggie. More of them. Please, people would much rather watch you than I forget Cucumber. Cute, what personality does a cucumber have? Which, by the way, you have more personality than that, to clarify. So that didn't sound very good the way I just said it. Much more personality. Much more. But if I put googly eyes on the cucumber and give it a little microphone stand and just him it makes jokes. This sounds like uh like a puppet. Ooh. Can I think of the word worth I'm thinking of? Uh a puppet. <laughs> Double cure. Um, um Yeah, you know. Jose? Thinking ho possibly? Uh, you mean, yeah, I was like, jalapeno on a stick. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Or, uh... Yachmid? Is it Yachmid? So don't touch me, I kill you, or something like that. Remember a little bit of that. Oh, 
I was thinking if I had any skills, I could turn it into an online shop. Mm. Well, let's start brainstorming. What kind of skills do you have? Do you feel like they could... Well, what kind of hobbies do you like to do? No. Besides the long walks on the beaches and stuff like that. He sells the beach sand. Never mind. Uh, you mean like something for like Etsy or something like that? I'm really good at making plans, not following through on them. Now, could you potentially sell all your plan plans, plans? Sell your plans on Etsy. Like, come up with a plan, don't do anything with it, and then just sell it on Etsy. And then have someone else do the plan. <laughs> it's not a good plan. <laughs> That's not a good idea, but... It just crossed my mind. Should probably heal. Okay, what if I sell that I'll do other people's plans and then don't follow through on those? After I've collected the money. <laughs> sounds a little shady. It also sounds like you're doing someone's homework. <laughs> and then just not completing it. <laughs> like, here's the deal. We'll, we'll just do some homework. You got an essay? I'll start it for you. But I'm not going to do the entire essay. And then you can just pay me the whole thing. I don't know what those are. I'm at the lightning too. Water to all the twos. <laughs> I'll just do it badly. Better yet. Oh no. I really love the base and the bow. <laughs> it's very groovy. I haven't done one or two before, but nice. What if I was a professional procrastination coach? I mean, <laughs> sign me up. <laughs> hey, I give you tips on how to procrastinate as long as possible. Is that what we're doing right now? <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't. Positive reinforcement. Uh oh. You guys again? I know, I feel like I could be on something here. Could be on to something. I'll do it later. That's the spirit. <laughs> I don't know. To me, I feel like if, if I'm ever doing... Uh, like if I'm ever doing like a project or like schoolwork or anything like that, to me, the best way for me to do it is to uh, have any of my distractions just away from me. And some 
almost impossible to do a lot at home. Um, I do realize when I'm at my job, I can kind of sneak around and get some schoolwork done early on. Um, I feel like I have a lot more focus when I'm actually at work to do the job than when I'm actually working from home. Because like when you're home, like you have so many distractions at your home. I feel like I don't have the mindset all the time to actually avoid it. Hell's dragon head. Whoa. Strength plus five. Holy shit. That's extremely good. True houses are so distracting. <laughs> Back in a few minutes. All right, no problem. Hey, that's a really good helmet I was up there. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of feel like I want to go back and get more ruby armor, but... Eh. <laughs> it says it reduces fire damage by half, but I mean, it's nice. At least when I get hit by fire from go from here on out, I won't take as much damage, but... I'm just wondering how important it can be to everything else. Also, I'm wondering, did I beat all the monsters? It's fair I get like a notification, being like, yeah, you did it, great job. Don't think so. Okay. Did I grab that? Maybe I just have to... Yeah, I don't know. I think I did everything. But I was thinking maybe I just have to go back and talk to What's-His-Face. On the Reptites and be like, yeah, I did it. That's a lot of money. <laughs> 25,000? Ridiculous. Alright, let's go... Let's go back. Okay. Um, let's definitely rest. I think I might go talk back to that elder and just be like, I think I got them all. Those monsters will trouble you no more. Slew all of them? Heroes indeed. Please take this as your reward. Make <laughs> it elixir. I'm sure we'll have other tasks to request of you in days to come. I hope you can count on your aid. Cool. Yeah, I wasn't really sure how the task thing would go. Spend my life on dream to build a great bitch. Like these reptites are actually kind of just chill. Like very, very chill. Like what did they just say here? I want to build something that lasts for future generations to use like a ladder. Incredible, aren't they? Ladders, I always wonder who built them and when. Because we keep coming back every couple thousand years just killing all the monsters. It's down here. Don't know if this is new. Oh, that's not good. But I'm loving the the uh, fact of the idea that come back every once in a while. <laughs> and then we just defeat all the monsters, we save the reptites, and then you come back another couple thousand years later and we save them again. Guessing that's all I'm thinking again. <laughs> I'm kind of taking a guess that, uh... Maybe at some point. Where am I going?
Alright, well, I can't move you. Weird. I'm just exploring at this point. With my Tanta of Takanawa, I've become a great and powerful ninja Shadow Hachi. Born to fight squirrels and people I don't like. Yes, and I turn into Bunraku with his powerful nunchucks who has dedicated his life to eradicating the world from hippies. That's an interesting storyline. <laughs> like the synopsis that we got going on here. I love that I have powerful nunchucks, not gonna lie. Why are you more appetites here? <laughs> what is happening? They're yeah, like feral reptiles. How's your week been going, by the way? Help us. Oh. Paid attention to that. Exiles. Alright, we're good. Playing this. <laughs> uh, we'll go say hi. Hello. Kind of figured. Still have to try. <laughs> Defense boosted when attacked. Not well enough. I don't even know where I am anymore. I don't think I need to be in here. I think this is something different. I don't know. I think I only want to be in here if I know for sure if there's actually something here. I don't want to keep going on finding out like I'm not going anywhere. I think what I want to do is figure out where this night is. I want to do the night thing. Maybe I'll check out the lab, the bucket. Cause I feel like the main ending potentially could be where the black omen is. And I know there's like a whole boss battle out there. I feel like that's where I need to be, but I feel like that's like possibly true ending style. Then there's like the end of time where I can fight Lapis there. I've tried that already once before and I lost. That was maybe like 10 levels ago. Um, the bucket idea. I, I've never tried that. that. Explains why I was getting mentioned before. Have I looked at the bucket? <laughs> so at least I know that now. Now I'm thinking about how I uh, 
I like poked at the bucket that was at the end of time before like so many times when I first got there. And Gaspar kept yelling at me at the time. He just kept saying, hey, like, don't do it. Couldn't do anything with it. All I could really do is keep pressing A over and over again. I think I'm going to try... I, I don't know. I want to try all three of them. I think I want to do the Black Omen last. It just feels like the proper way to do it, maybe? Yeah. I just, want to, I just want to do the night thing. It's here. It's in this time period, so... I just want to do that. Could always do this stuff later on. I'm, I am thinking about maybe doing some grinding and stuff off stream. Possibly over the weekend, if I have some time. If I can get more of that ruby armor, I think I want to do that. Actually, before I go anywhere else, can I get to that crystal? No? Alright. That shard, whatever that is. Alright, I'm trying to look for... What's in this? Oh, it looks like a giant mansion. Could have been where the black omen is. I don't think it was the castle. You're talking about Cyrus? I mean, Cyrus is dead. To my knowledge. <laughs> to my knowledge, Cyrus is dead. This is it. Okay. Don't know how I got here, but this is it. Hello? Robbed of my carpentry tools? How am I to work without my tools? Otomo, would you stay here for a little bit longer? Oh, it's the... Yeah, it's this guy again. Hi, well met, Kron. I finally stumbled upon a hint as to whereabouts of the rainbow shell. Still, I can't shake the feeling that things will go sour this time. I feel my luck may have finally run out. Say, would you mind holding on to this for me? Thomas <laughs> spirits. If you were the worst befall me, I would mean a lot. It would mean a lot to me if you pour that over my headstone. A touch morbid, I know, but I beg you. Toma. About ten years ago, a beast was seen dragging something into the northern ruins. There was a talk it may be some sort of treasure. Uh, uh, let's do it. I want to find a hint. <laughs> We're only carpenters' apprentices. Our master's at the tavern. Okay. So that's all they are. All right, cool. Market. What are you selling? I might take a couple of these. Give me some ethers. I think I'm gonna need them. All right. This one be stocked up and rested. <laughs> Actually, am I already rested? No. I mean, I could always rest out. That's eh, whatever. I was thinking I could use a shelter outside. Just uh, sleep and move on. Check out the runes. Clearly there's something here. Something with a knight. Hmm. See how tough these guys are? Ghost knight? Oh. Have spam day. <laughs> they do a lot of damage. Okay, cool, great. Well, they do like half.
So they're sort of like the Reapers. So that did a lot. <laughs> it's like heal wise, I'm like, that did a lot. Yeah, that was good. I was like, they're pretty 900 XP. So that was a lot of XP there. Now I'm thinking about like how much XP do I get? Not much more. We're closer for you too. I don't think I can even get into the next room. So it's good to know I need to use these type of attacks. To take out the knights here. I might be good. I know Luca at least has fire damage, but her magic's the strongest. Next to Marley's. Luminary? Attack all enemies with holding light. Sorry, I'm like so focused on that. <laughs> like I need to heal. I'm also I'm like, what is this? As I just keep stealing everything from me. Cool. That was nice of them. <laughs> so nice. So I bought a bunch of ethers. <laughs> Always met ethers. I have a weird feeling I don't want to use all of them. Yeah, a lot of those like turbo ethers and stuff lately though. That's not good. Did it just have that one attack I kind of thought about using? Luminary? I might not need it if this works out. I know I chose an attack or frog second so long. Screw it. Whoa. I think we got them all, and now they're gonna start doing grudges on us. <laughs> Ever good. Thousand, holy crap. This is going to be a great area to level up. Also, this losing all my MP again is great. Um, let's do that and move on. <laughs> Alright, so we went to that one. Check the right one, I suppose. Huh. That's weird. So many two paths I can take. It's great to know that I just went down because they're probably going to respawn, right? Or 
or not. I'm kind of just pressing A yeah on everything just to see if something would pop up. I need to talk to people in the tavern, they might know something. So I'm clearly missing something. Or maybe I can enter a different area. That's weird. Alright. Can I land on top of it? <laughs> trying to think like, can I land somewhere else and go around? Are the recovery true is how I work without my tools? Maybe he needs his tools. Told him it's off in search of the rainbow shell, or he said he, or he said before he left. Train was trying something for their rooms. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's go back to the end of time. Maybe I'll talk to everyone else. Maybe there's something I still need. Like item-wise? I want to talk to everyone. So I did not do that. Talk to Isla. Don't you dare put us through that again. Solar energy was used for a was used aeons ago. <clears throat> Long before Lavos was discovered as a source of power. Might just be the thing we need to combat him. That... I think I know where that is. Everyone appears to be in more cheerful state when Chrono is here. A birthplace of machines. Do I have a hometown too? They're like islands. All right, let's check out Lucas. I'll put her back in the party. I want to check out the bucket. <laughs> I actually really do want to check it out. A little worried to check it out now though. Um, let's go, yeah, we'll go to the future. So a lot of stuff's in the future and a lot of stuff is in the Middle Ages. I remember them mentioning something about present day too. That might have been the reptites though that I was dealing with. And then literally the black elements everywhere. Uh, is this the local one? Is this the thing I went to before and I died in one hit? <laughs> Curiosity. Yeah. I don't think I stand a chance. I mean, I could give it another try. I don't think I stand a chance. It could be something really good in here, though, if I actually beat it. I'm probably not prepared for it, let's be real. I'll give it a luck anyway. See what happens. See how we do. Um. Uh, Do zero damage. Could win. I mean, if I can take a hit like that, it's always positive. So I think I need to take the fire out around them. I'm also, oh, I am not healing. I am in trouble. <laughs> I'm just realizing this. Uh, 
myself up a little bit. The eyes are open though. So I wonder... The armor! Oh! The ruby armor is perfect for this. I didn't even think about that. I'm gonna give this a try. I don't know if this is a good thing to do. Yeah, that's a horrible thing to do. Uh, I wasn't thinking. That's over. Magic doesn't work out there. Oh, I haven't. <laughs> Alright, let me think. Can I? I'm gonna experiment here. I'm not gonna win. I'm pretty sure Megaton Bomb's gonna fail. So that's fine. I figured I would fail. I did better than I thought I would, though. I think I'm ready for this yet, though. This might be one of the last things I probably should do. If I get the ruby armor from Isla's time period, go here, take out the Sun Temple Eye. That might be a better thing to do. I think I'm gonna wait. Let's check this out. Chino Dome. I am familiar with this place. Please allow me to take the lead. Oh, he wants to take the lead, like the actual lead. Oh, I can't just put Luca in there. Luca and Robo together? It just seems great. I'm just my sync them on a bit of Biden. My my welcome home R6XY. Or should I say Prometheus? Behind you, fleshlings. I have not seen creatures of flesh for many a day. Let me welcome them. Come, come within. <laughs> Prometheus? Let's just see what capabilities they possess. Like centuries. The only thing I'm really confused about is the whole northern rooms a bit. 
So that's me like a little confused just because I'm looking at that and I'm like, where the hell do I go there? It makes me think like I'm missing an item. But I, the only thing I know for certain is I probably need at least one more ruby armor. Which I can probably get very quickly. So I think I only needed some petals. Which I know that one area, uh, actual mountain area would actually give me. Circle, circle, it's fire too. I'm like, I'm just gonna play it safe. Definitely need to heal her bro, bro. I keep doing that and I feel like I should just be using the luminary move. It does take a lot of energy. It's my only problem with it. <laughs> This is actually a pretty good way to get some experience, too. Like, we're getting, like, how much experience per bell? Like, dying some? Eighteen. That one is eighteen. Like, we're getting a lot. Oh, we got leveled up. Now we're getting even more. Oh, I'm using them there. Move is intense. Like, that's nuts. Not bad for humans. I'll be looking forward to greeting you. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, let's go, Joel. It is a whole dungeon now. All right. Probably should have just use my. Eh, it's fine. Say some MP. Like overall, I don't feel things are too tough. But I feel like they give me just enough <laughs> to get along. Duh, get away. Get along. Electric cube. Okay. Mega Volt Doltec. 300 years ago, the, la the Lavas disaster brought drastic and devastating change to this planet. At its current rate of decline, humanity is doomed. The disease you call despair already consumes you from within. Take the waste, of waste chute back to the entrance? No. I 
I do like uh, leading with Bravo. Oh. Save here. I'm trying to think, I might, I might go back down. Or not. Just explore here. <laughs> Forget. <laughs> So I'm thinking each of those are going to pop up, right? Or not. Can't hit that switch. It's like a whole labyrinth down here. Happy with the money, obviously. Hey, he, wait, not in the world, we have to save them. I will stop the machines. It is no use, there are multiple layers of protection. Destroying the mother brain mainframe is our only hope. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Don't know why I did that twice. I just keep trying. They're killing all those humans. They're turning them into something. Don't know what though. They're not going to let me do anything, are they? <laughs> All right, nice. Seriously, I mean, they're not that strong, but they're giving you a ton of experience. Say he shot himself. <laughs> I'll get to attack eventually. I think that's why I'm like I'm kind of smart about like wanting to heal before I get into the battles. Otherwise, I just die right away. I'm happy with it. Uh, I can't go there. I'm guessing I need to do this. Or I just can't do it at all. <laughs> We have to go back to one of the previous floors. There was a lot to explore. Is that where I came from or did I come from here? I came from the other spot. All right, get that chrono. Uh, magic will give to Luca. I mean, her magic's already really good. I might as well <laughs> give it to someone else, but it's fine. Do you not realize we're enough for the existence, the existence of your creatures? This planet would be at peace. And yet you struggle and fight for what? Yeah, I figured. Finally got a quick attack in. <laughs> I get jumped for once.
I was going to say, it looked like I could go through there. Figured we were in a fight. Might have been a bad idea with need to, though. <laughs> so there's only... There's only like two enemies, so... Yeah. I can't go through there. Where's this lead me to? Nowhere. <laughs> oh, that's where I came up from. Cool. So I can actually kind of travel back if I want to now. Kind of figured that would happen. <laughs> Oh my god, let's go anyway. Also, if the save station's nearby, I'm just gonna waste my... I'm just gonna use the boom uh, boom in there. Wait, just end the battles and move on. Honestly, if I keep using that move... It could... I don't know if it could be a good possibility to actually just give Chrono some of the magic capsules. Like, it's not, he's not good with it to begin with. But balancing out maybe could be pretty, pretty, pretty good. <laughs> Stumble in my words there. <laughs> yeah, just a thought I had. Okay, so this will just bring me back. Can't go in there. And there already be a bunch of enemies in there. And it doesn't really bring me anywhere else. So. It's kind of just like a shortcut back. I think I'm going to go back up the yellow bear. Save. Heal and save. And then uh, keep going. We're doing pretty good. I think. To my knowledge. Are we doing level wise with everyone? 43, 41, 41? Yeah, we're doing good. Alright, so let's go now. I never I didn't check the left path, so we'll do that. Or middle. Middle left, whatever. Oh, this is oh. It's all connected. Cool. <laughs> like, cool, good enough. I want to use uh, the, the, the zap, <laughs> the zap move. Whoa, how much was that? That's a lot of uh, power. Oh. Hold up. <laughs> Wait, I want to save the little guy. <laughs> I forget everything else right now. So I was going to go through that door. I'm like, as soon as I saw the little guy, I'm like, he needs some saving. save it. <laughs> I'll be back.
I have to somehow disable that. Like looking at them, like they don't do much. They're just kind of just uh, there. <laughs> just there to just like here's a here's an experience that you got by. <laughs> Alright, what did I just do? the shoe it's kind of hoping maybe the switches will help me unlock the door You can access information on Genodome via this terminal. What shall I put first? Doors. The energy pods besides locked doors must be charged before the such doors will open. Energize first in the pod to your left, and then enter the pod next to the locked door. Wait. Energize first in the pod to your left, and then enter the pod next to the locked door. Oh, okay, got it. Conveyor belt. Conveyor belt to the right can be reversed by means. Of, okay, got that. Sentinels. The sentinels protecting the figurines move to thwart the progress of any who approach. Consequently, allowing two sentinels to face one another will cost both a short circuit. In the unfortunate event that this should occur, please deposit the disabled sentinels in the rooms upstairs. The two figurines on this floor are required for, for those desiring an audience with Mother Brain. Do not remove them without my permission. Okay. I got it. So I need to do that. So I need to get the electricity from this. Then bring it over here. There we go. And boom. Oh, and that's what I saw at the top floor. Okay, that makes sense now. So now I need to figure out how to get the two sentinels to meet up with one another. I know I need to get up there. <laughs> Don't really know how to do it from here though. Oh, actually, I could open this one. High potion. 50,000 G. <laughs> All right, I'll take that. All right, well I need to figure out that. Oh, maybe that's what the conveyor belt's for. So now I can have this open. I can run up this when I have the power. Can I make it in time though? It's one way to find out. And go. <laughs> go, Robo, go. 
I don't know if I'm gonna make it on time. Let's be close. I got it. Hi. Turbo Ether. Hi, Ether. So I need to lure. No, 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 you're going down. Like, you gotta go this way. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're doing great. Come on, big guy. There we go. Don't want to go too far ahead. So these two should sort circuit one another. There we go. Perfect. Vigilante's hat. Friends, all status elements. Oh, oh, hello. Is that better than? Uh, I like the strength. <laughs> Give this one a robe. A nice, nice hat. So I can mix that with the one other ailment uh, necklace that I have that very preventive from Magus. That could be really helpful. Ruby armor would be perfect for the boss that we're fighting at Sun Temple. Uh, you okay, Chrono? Uh, I think we're set here. Yeah, let's go back. Or can I just go back this way? I'm trying to think the fastest way back. Yeah, I think I can just take this. I think I walk down that path, right? Yeah. Alright, so you shelter again. I'm glad I bought some shelters. <laughs> so it turned out to be very important. Alright, let's do this. So everyone leveled up again? Yeah, mostly. So I think the only thing I had. And does the locked door permit what? It says mother brain? Atropos? Atropos? Yes, it's been some time, hasn't it? Come and join me. There's no need to pretend you're on their side anymore. Pretend. Hee <laughs> hee. Unlike the other R series units, Prometheus was given a special task. To live with humans and study them as a species. That's a lie. It's no lie. Tell them, Prometheus. Step aside now, Prometheus. We'll eliminate these humans and go see Mother. Robo. What are you doing, Prometheus? I will not allow you to hurt them. You have been damaged then. They must have tampered with you. I'll destroy them and then I can fix you. Atropus, you have changed. You are not the robot I knew before. No, I've been upgraded. Mother remade me to eliminate humans more efficiently. Step aside, Prometheus. My name is Robo. Hey. Prometheus. <laughs> Please wait. Stand back and leave this to me. Just Robo? Atropus. Prometheus, okay. I'm down with this. I probably should have, whatever. Do like a big attack? <laughs> yeah. Let's do, do rapid fire fest.
Come on, Robo. Am I in the way, by the way? No? Alright, cool. <laughs> I did take a lot of damage there. Alright, I need a heat. I might have been too slow. But we're good! <laughs> Barely, but we're good. You do that again. Is that damaging her? Our Atropus? No? I love doing all these little side quests and finding out like, like some of the uh They didn't board beside some of these characters. They don't really tell you unless you actually do these missions. heal again just in case I don't know how much more uh, health Atropus has play it safe though I uh, Pr Prometheus it's been some time hasn't it Atropus um, damaged? What happened? Oh no. My memory banks. I must have, yes, when, when Mother overwrote my old programs. Uh, I backed up my memory. I'm sorry, Prometheus. Save your energy, I'll repair. You cannot. Core systems failing. Power to, to memory banks critical. I want you to have this. You can plug it into your circuits. Please take care of it. Goodbye, Prometheus. Yeah, it's like upgrade though. So do I get the wear going forward? That'd be nice. <laughs> So is that? <laughs> I guess it's just like a permanent stat increase for him. Speed by three is a lot. Um, I don't want to waste my shelter. All right, we'll save. That was rough. I was wondering if I could reach that. Mega Elixir. Add your capsule. Look at the chrono. I I want as I want his magic a little better. Just a little bit. I feel like all the sad tragic stuff's actually happening. Hello again. <laughs> like, uh, the robo. Uh, listen well, flawed and fragile flesh spawn. Lavis's children will one day return to the stars to seek out new plants, new sources of sustenance. When that day comes, this planet will have its chance to heal, so long as there are no humans to interfere. We robots will establish a new world order. A unified nation of steel and pure logic. A utopia free of sadness and suffering. Evolution has chosen us. We are the seeds of the next generation. Your species is obsolete. Cease your foolish struggle and surrender yourself to the fate of failed creations. Oh, that was a mouthful. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering, do I need to go down here? No. Actually... 
I've already been through here, right? Yeah. I had to stop Mother Brain first. Like, am I ready for whatever we're about to do? Maybe. <laughs> Guess so. I think we're more than, I guess we're ready. <laughs> we'll do it. Oh, damn. So you managed to reach me. I am the mother brain of this R-Way, RY series factory. Come, Prometheus, allow me to restore your logic. I'll reset your circuitry and clear your cache of memories. Then we can dispose of the, those filthy humans together. I must apologize, I cannot permit you to do that. My memories are too valuable to be de-allocated. De and so are my friends. You would betray me to side with these humans. You would turn against all of robo robot kind. Humans have taught me a great deal. Crone, Marley, Luca, Frog, and Isla. I want to see the future that they bring about. Ho ho ho. <laughs> As a sinister laugh. Can't trust a robot that laughs like that. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, Prometheus. There's no future for the humans. I'll show you just how little hope you have. Alright. Yeah, I have to destroy the terminals. Hundred percent need to destroy the terminals. <laughs> uh let's see how can I do this? Do lightning too, maybe? I need to make a ton bomb. Uh, thank you for the hydrate. Come on. Hmm. So that worked. Brain running wild without... I missed the second part. Uh, I need to do a move. Frenzy. <laughs> yeah, let's get some protection. some regular attack. Oh, the freaking item I picked up. <laughs> Robo has it. Good thing he has it. this right now and his heal beams aren't doing much so we'll do this Let's say I'm in trouble. <laughs> so I know what I did wrong. Or is it not a good way to counter it? Oh, 
for Lucas. Luca or Chrono? Give it to. I think we give it a Chrono. The uh, let's see if we can find it. Here we go. Shaw's amulet. Sure, take that for a second. <laughs> Friends all stats ailments. So when I equip that to Chrono, give Robo the helmet. Luca might be the only problem. Actually, I'm about to say screw it, give her more magic. Okay. This should work. Is that way I can focus on attacking with Chrono? Oh, where would I want to put Frog in? I want to keep Luga in for the battle. I feel like she's just important for this arc. I think I'll try again with Luca, and if I do lose again, maybe I'll just throw a Frog in. Make it a little bit easier. I think having at least the amulet on Chrono and then the helmet, the vigilante hat on Robo will probably help. Because having two characters, I can just prevent that. I might want to hold off. I maybe buff all my characters up. Or maybe just take out the terminals one at a time. So I want to see if I can protect all everyone and then start attacking. It seems like as soon as you destroyed all the terminals, that's when Mother Brain was like going all out. So I'm like, I'm not really concerned with Mother Brain right now. I think I can heal everyone and then attack. Could be better. Before Luca loses all of her magic. <laughs> Start now. Or maybe it'd been better if I kept one alive? <laughs> like one of those computer monitors? I don't know. Oh, it runs wild without displays. Got it. Kind of curious if any magic hurts. I should have healed. What am I doing? Do that with at least look at this turn, but <laughs> this is where I'm a little concerned. Did lightning do anything? I don't think anything happened. I need to kill. <laughs> no. I was actually very curious if it would do anything. Looks like nothing. <laughs> so I think that does more damage every every turn.
It does do more damage after every turn. Okay. It could be smart to keep one of the displays up. Like it's gonna heal her a thousand <laughs> per turn. But it's like I focus on just doing damage and it'll just slowly chip away. Try that. Destroy all the displays but one. And then maybe if I get close to being another brain. That might be the better option. A little concern this could be a long battle. Because only you get a thousand. I can deal more than a thousand per hit. do this if I can just focus on doing my big attacks on them not damaging the right display like let the heals go it's fine <clears throat> I just wonder how long I can keep this going for Yeah, I was really close <laughs> to using Flare there. I might play that. It's a whole enemies. Because Megaton Bottom at least hits only in the circle area. The one display is out of it. This can work. That sucks. But we'll be fine. <laughs> See, how have a stronger attack. Possibly, but whatever. I was thinking maybe combining Robo with uh, Chrono. fires <laughs> I think individually is still better I do think I should heal Actually, you know what would have been really good? Haste. <laughs> if I had uh, Marley here, I think it actually would have been a little bit better. So, 3, 6, 9, 12 ish, 1500. I think individual attacks are better. Only heal when I need to, but it's just like focus on attack. Okay. Breakdown? Will we win? <laughs> yeah. There we go, it worked. Pro Prometheus, why? Obtain Terraton Arm and Crisis Arm. 
All factory operations have been permanently taken offline and none of the machines here will, will ever be reacted. Reactivated, sorry. Robo. All right, let's continue. Damn. Last digit of own HP determines damage. Five? Wait. The last digit of own HP. It's like 709. Prices aren't could be better. <laughs> Last digit of own HP. Let me test this out. Can I fight someone in here? No. Makes sense. Alright, so. I just want to test this out. Let's fight anything. Am I gonna even go through here? <laughs> just wanna fight something. Actually, no, I won't. Go over here. <laughs> I just wanted to test what it means by your last HP. So 702, 204. Six twenty four. Last digit of own HP. I'm trying to figure out how to, the wording of it. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out. Last digit of own HP determines damage. So that's the six twenty four. Guess it just means I would do six hundred and something damage. Okay. Weird. Hey, what's going on, Patty? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Actually, we're getting near some endgame stuff with uh, Chrono Trigger tonight. I'm actually thinking I might try one of the endings in just a moment. So I'm just very curious how it will go. I just want to see it. But I think I, uh, I think I might try to do it. Destiny grind? Yeah, I was gonna say, I heard there was a new patch that came out. Or not patch, like expansion, I think. Some co-workers were talking about it. <laughs> That's awesome, though. I get that grind. <laughs> pretty much Destiny 3. It's actually kind of sick. Okay. So I think I want Marley. I want to keep Robo. I just want to try this. I don't know how we'll do, but I want to give it a try. I want my counter ring. <laughs> Where are you at, Rage Band? I love this too much. That's actually pretty cool, though. That's it. <laughs> Feels like Destiny 3. I think I'll do this. Hope for the best. Double check with you. You were to fight Lavos, correct? Many paths lie before you. You may choose to leap into that bucket or fly the wings of time to the day of Lavos. Or there's the Black Omen, which now straddles seeking to summon Lavos yet again. Such folly. Let's take so greedily. After power, that the power wounds you. It's up to you to decide when and where you will face Lavos. However, do not think that you stand alone. Okay. A forest brought back to the life with the sheer determination of a woman in the Middle Ages. Okay. Well, 
That's definitely Cyrus. So maybe it was like Cyrus's spirit. If you were to see the world destroyed before your very eyes, then by all means go, but know that yourselves may share the same fate. <laughs> How am I guessing it? Um, I want to try. Let's do it. I want to try. This is probably a really bad idea. I just want to look at it. I, like, I want to know. So this still brings me to the day of Lavis. Let's just throw a bucket. We're gonna fight. You're right, for Doan and the others too. Understood, let us go. There we go. Lavos enters attack mode. So he goes through this whole phase thing again. We'll see how much better we do this time. I'm also just trying to remember how each boss works. <laughs> it's been a bit. I do appreciate that the game allows you to heal up and everything before you go into each fight phase of the uh, battle. Lifeline triple attack. Okay. So I think you, I think it's like the sentries I have to destroy. I use attacks for now. Until like I need to. Like that's on me. Break down. All right. I'm trying to remember how this one works. Is it lightning? Let's see. I'm like, I'm trying to select an attack here. Um, let's do Ice Sword. Should be fine though. Here we go. I think it's at the bottom legs. Yeah. I think it's pretty much you destroy the bottom legs and then he just goes all together. It just collapses. Or 
Or not. <laughs> Took all my MP there. Son of a, son of a gun. <laughs> I think I have like a decent strategy for this. <laughs> I think I'm doing a lot more damage than I did last time. I mean, I'm a higher level, so obviously. You're, you're the link one. I remember that. Do I have... I know I probably do. Grants all allies a one-time auto-revive? Huh. That's a lot of MP, but it works. Okay. Um... I was curious if I had any like lightning attacks. No. Alright. As defense gets lowered, but then you start stealing a lot of damage after a period of time. That's the part I'm most worried about. I mean, honestly, I should be fine, but yeah, still want to give him a chance. <laughs> Magus. Alright, now this stage I remember having some problems with before. So I'm curious how I handle it this time. I don't remember too much about him. <laughs> so he uses. I think it was. Uh, how did I do it with Lavos? I think he kept healing from magic attacks. So I think I need to focus on physical attacks. Yeah, let's do this. So I think that's what happened last time. I think I can do this. I'm trying not to get my hopes too high, but I think I could potentially do this. Definitely taking the hits a lot better than I did last time. Mm, no, we're attacking. 
To me, he's not doing enough damage to warrant me to heal, necessarily. Not yet, at least. I have to now. Actually, not even now. Oh, wait, doesn't a regular. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't equip the mess man. Oh, that's my fault. Uh, can I still do it? <laughs> Out of curiosity, can I equip the items outside? Nope. Oh, Alright. Good enough. It just like clicked with me. I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> Here we go. I've basically gotten to the point where I'm doing more damage on him. Like, it takes a while to get it down, but once you get it down, you're good. Wave Toltec, nice. I love how I'm still learning moves as I'm going. <laughs> Almost up to the part where I last left off of it. I think I changed my party up. Want Marley back in. And we're good. <laughs> That's all I really want. Uh, okay, so how does this one go? I got the feet, the reptile on his shoulder. And then the main boss. It's gonna take a lot of hits, though. So. From what I remember. <laughs> That was going to be better. Not really. Kind of close, but... Also think I probably should have used haste on barley perhaps. We will heal with Robo this time. I should be set after this. Also, wonder how many more heads I need. I 
I am thinking more and more about the ruby armor is actually perfect for Lavos, isn't it? Like it really is really good. Uh, Alright, it's two ice. I've realized the magic's better. Magic is better. 100%. <laughs> I'm wasting all that MP for like no reason. Maybe. Figures again, like a dinosaur reptite statue thing. Mm. Oh, regular attacks. Oh, because he's charging up. Right. I might be able to win with Chrono without actually having to get his MP back up. Just rely on Marley and Robos. Save my items. All that for what? <laughs> Alright, cool. This is where I lost last time. So if I recall, I have to take the hands out? And then I can take out the boss, or I can just attack them all at once. I think either war is going to be fine. I'll do that. Um, Alright, let's do this. Oh, I could equip the armor. That's fine. Yeah, we're good. Like, if I'm being honest, I'm not taking damage, much damage, from any of them. I think I'm trying to figure out if doing every one attack is better, or one at a time. You just gotta attack everyone. Yeah, it worked. Until the hands come back, maybe I just do regular attacks. Because they're gonna come back. I did think about using haste. I was like, eh. Maybe I will use haste. It's pretty much Chrono and Robo are the two doing like big time damage. I 
I did notice the difference with Chrono and Marley, though. Robo took a lot more damage there without that ruby armor. It's starting to look like the best armor in the game, <laughs> or at least one of them. I mean, it's just like a stockpile of them. Like, not a ton. Just... Just a couple to have on the gun. I think, I'm just trying to manage my MP because I don't know if there's another stage after this. <laughs> Never gone that far. <laughs> Probably is, but okay, heal on Chrono. She maybe Robo. That's fine. <laughs> Can't heal on everyone. I'm trying to think of what boss phases would be after this one. There's not many more left. Unless that's it. Alright, I am getting healed. <laughs> so I don't know what's coming up. <laughs> yeah, I'm going for it. Okay. Nah, this feels like a boss. Let's get a little hasty. Heal up. It's confusing everyone. <laughs> it's not good. Sorry, I think that amulet would have been a good thing to equip by now. Now, we're away. I'm also thinking about just, uh. <laughs> so, as I give Marley a punch so she heals. from Robo. That was too slow. It's okay, I can still raise her. I actually might wait for that. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm going to wait for that to come again and then I'll As long as you keep her Marley's health, like, you're close to full. <laughs> Should be fine. Again. Not fast enough. Oh, she's dead. Oh, I can still heal those two at least. Alright. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> It's okay. They, they'll just keep everyone's HP high. So 
So Krona takes a hit. It's perfect. I want to take one of those big hits again from Lavos. Like that rain of destruction or whatever. Yeah. And then do this again. Thinking about it, like more and more, I'm like, I did pretty good my first time around. I almost got to the end. <laughs> I've had the first opportunity to fight him. Not too bad. Alright, at least I got Chrono and Robo hasted, though. I really wanted that. I'm gonna heal next turn with Robo. Or I'm not. Unbelievable. I detect even more powerful life force within Lavis's shell. You must enter the interior and destroy its core. Did I heal? <laughs> Actually, I do get the opportunity. We're in pretty deep. We're into my sensors. We are close to the core. The fuck? Also, I'm, not, I'm starting to realize I made a separate save. <laughs> I never realized that. Uh, I'm gonna make a third one, just in case. Don't know what's going on here. Is this like his true form? Cell? This must be Lavos. <laughs> Amazing. I'm sorry, I said so. It possesses the DNA of every organism that has, oh my god, that has ever dwelt on this planet. Alright. Major Beam's arms open the doors to oblivion. I was not ready. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's not happening. I've already seen this once. Hey, how y'all doing? Pick the bad time. <laughs> How's everyone? Welcome on in. Hi, bears. A mistake. I hold that one. Give me a shout out. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Kat, what's going on? Curlic, thank you for the follow. How's everyone doing? That was Bloodborne, by the way. So call, hello. There's hello. Hi, everyone. If you don't know me, I don't think anyone, know, anyone here knows who I am. Uh, Jesus Christ. I'm skipping through this because I've seen this already. <laughs> uh, thank you, Bears, for the 15 months. I appreciate it. Um, but if you don't know who I am, Bigger Engineer. I'm a variety streamer. Uh, we just had the end of the world just happen. Cow, okay, freaking dare you. Hey, Boys. Boys. <laughs> Noise. Thanks, Brian. Yeah, y'all picked a great time. Um, so I attempted to fight the final boss just now. Uh, I lost horrendously. 
Or I think it's the final boss. Uh, I can't fight it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, number. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, I went swimming really well. Uh, it one hit KO everyone, all my party members, pretty much. So I can't fight it. It's not. It's not gonna happen. So yeah. Yeah, I would say if anyone's trying to avoid spoilers from Chrono Trigger, I know it's a very old game, but if you are trying to, and the age of the game doesn't matter, uh, feel free. <laughs> totally understand. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much how it's going. It's going swimmingly well today. Actually, before all that just happened, everything was going swimmingly well, and then that happened. But how was Bloodborne? Did it be any bosses? Did you... What were you fighting? The witch. Did you beat the witch? The witch go down? <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, she was. She always kicked the butt. I don't know what to do at this point in the game, though. <laughs> well, I have ideas, but... I don't know. Um, actually, I do have something I want to do, but yeah, we're trying to figure out oh, pretty much how to beat the final boss. There's like multiple endings, <laughs> and I tried taking one of the paths just to see what would happen because I figured it's not going to be like end game, end game stuff. Uh, I get my butt kicked, and I've seen that already. So that was uh, nothing new, but I have some side stuff I can do. I think I might go back and do all the side stuff. So there's some like side bosses I tried fighting before. I think I'm just gonna do that. You did beat the witch though? And then I tried doing some exploring, decided to rap. Gotcha. As, as you all know, only speaks the truth. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yeah, I kind of got my butt kicked. Uh, I think I need to bring you. Yeah, I need to get a bunch of armor. <laughs> she truly is. fighting one paper at a time. But yeah, long story short, there's a lot of time traveling in this game. Uh, you did not know? It's very turn-based, so if you're familiar with turn-based games, this game is for you. Uh, but other than that, uh, I'm just going to say a bunch of us, because I don't know how to really follow up. So what I'm trying to do, just to give you an idea, I have to go here because I can get some items to get some better armor for the final boss. And this guy will give you the armor, but I need to get like these pedals and such. I only have, how much do I have now? Orn fang feathers, I have no pedals. So I need to get some pedals. So I have to, grind a little bit and beat some enemies. Then I get the pedals. And then I get the more armor. And then there's another boss that I can take on. That I tried taking on before and I lost. But now I know how to handle it. So I can actually go back to that boss and beat it. Kind of ran into him by an accident before and now I realize what I actually need to do. And it's probably going to help me with the actual final boss, so I probably want to do it. <laughs> but yeah. Back in the grizzly grind. Okay, so. All that grind. <laughs> it sounds like quite the journey. There's a lot. It's actually a short, like a shorter game than I thought it was going to be. Got this in the bag. <laughs> Please, thank you. 
Uh, yeah, I need some pedals, and I don't know a fast way to get them. Other than grinding. So it's gonna be great. What's next on the list to play? That's a good question. I was actually thinking of starting a soul skin. Um, I have a couple options I could go with. I was thinking of, like I want to play Earthbound, but I think after playing this, I might want to take a break from this type of genre. But I've been wanting to play a Soul Games for a couple of years now. And like, I've only ever played Bloodborne. I've never played like an actual Souls game. And I'm trying to decide if I want to try Demon Souls or the first Dark Souls. I think that's where I'm at. But I haven't played a Souls game in like, it's been years. I played Bloodborne a long time ago. But that Bloodborne's been my only experience with a Souls game, style game, so. And they say I'm mixing it up a little. Goes off stream, Pokemon's also turn-based. That too. Actually, now I think about it, I've done a lot of turn-based just off stream and on stream for probably the past month or two. So changing it up is gonna feel a little nice. <laughs> That's a lot of turn based in the row. Yeah, it really is. I've also been doing a Nuzlocke like every Saturday. And I actually make the time to actually stream it on Saturdays. But I'm near the end of that. I think I want to try one. I like the Souls idea. <laughs> Bears. We'll just play a turn-based Dark Souls game. If one exists, we'll just go with that. That'd be a little bit better. But to be completely honest, Bears, if you ever did get into a turn-based game, I think you would really enjoy this game, to be completely honest. I know you have a lot in your backlog already, so I'm not going to stress you on actually playing. But if you ever had the idea of one day down the road, I would recommend this one. This one's actually really good. I think this would be up your alley. It does have a good sense of humor. Obviously, I know you have a lot in your play already, so no worries. But if you ever did, I would recommend. This, I think, would be up your alley. I'm sure Jen would vouch for that too. <laughs> Anything with a good sense of humor. It's like chef's kiss. It's great. Uh, I don't know how many things I have. Three. All right. So what I'm trying to do is I need 10 pedals. I have three. I need 10 of each of these things as well. <laughs> I have way more than enough. So it's just taking forever to get the actual pedals. But I have to keep going back, beating these enemies, get the pedals, leaving. It's a little bit of a grind, but it's not too, too bad. Cute sense of humor slash cute pixel graphics. Exactly. Love when games pull off humor for sure. There's, there's been a couple moments that that's actually had me dying of laughter, I won't lie. It, this game provides quite the humor. Laughter and tears all around. I uh, love when I'm playing a game and then like I had to pause because I had to like laugh and disbelieve at how cheeky writers are. Gasp and D Lang. Gasp, gasp and D. <laughs> like, what a good vibe. And 
anything that has like a sense of humor that can break the fourth wall, I immediately fall in love with those games. Like when I saw Undertale. I still want to play Undertale myself one day. Because so, I've never seen the other you know, stuff with it. Like Undertale's a perfect example of I fucking love the humor in those games. I would love to actually check that out myself. It is a champion, seriously. Honestly, watching Deltarune, I didn't either. I still think it was a good game. But I'm like, it's kind of hard to follow up on something like Undertale. <laughs> I think I can fight the, the thingy. I'm just not going to make it. <laughs> I'm going to try. Girl. I think he gives you a lot. I feel like after chapters come out too, though, more of it will pull together. So I am hopeful. Oh, Delta Rune? I can see that. So it didn't finish. So I know you recently released what? Chapter two? Three, two? Two, three, two? But I can see like it still had the same humor. But maybe, I don't know. But still good. I'm looking for the, the, the thingy. <laughs> Can't find the thingy. All right, we're just gonna leave. We'll leave and come back. Onion Sand apparently has a cameo spot in chapter two. Oh. Nice. Well, if I get everything except the thing I need. <laughs> God. There's gotta be a faster way to get pedals. <laughs> the look up onions here. <laughs> this memory, man. <laughs> memory. I hard. What? Alright, there we go. There are a lot of weird characters in Underdale, to be fair. It's a lot of weird, but also very good characters. <laughs> Just so many. Okay, so to get an idea of what I'm trying to do. Try and wait for- yeah. That. <laughs> I think I can get a lot if I beat him. is very strong. There we go. All right, you strong here, take. Three petals, three fangs, three horns, three. Okay, cool. I need a heal. Thank you. Weird characters that have like weirdly fleshed out personalities and backgrounds. I'm into that. Give me that lore. Thank you, it's a weird looking Nosh. <laughs> I do love how that universe is very lore deep with like literally anything. So I just need to get two more. No, no, no. None of those. Alright. <laughs> oh, actually I have enough. Cool. 
All right, so what I need to do. Go in here, talk to you, make strong armor, use many rupees. What's well, 10 of each? Yes. Ruby armor. So it's actually going to be helpful for endgame. <laughs> Which. A lot of thinking, sorry. All right, so reduces fire damage to one fifth. Really good. <laughs> Perfect, all right. Now we'll go to the future and beat the one boss. Uh, I love, like, wait, words. I can't, I can't hear speak. Uh, I love how like weirdly poignant Undertale is and tackles really disturbing topics in such a whimsical, okay. Uh, whimsical way, sorry, I saw that and I like, do not want to be near it. Okay, I'm done waxing poetic about Undertale. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Speak that passion, speak that loud. <laughs> Chrono Cross when, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> I do want to play Chrono Cross. Someday. Well, I mean, when's the Switch version coming out? A couple months? Or the remaster? I think it's a couple months. Once that comes out, I want to play it. I just thought it was perfect timing because I was like, I was just starting this. Yeah, I think once the remaster comes out, I want to play that. I was like, that's literally perfect time. All right, so to give you an idea of what I'm trying to do now. We went to the future. Obviously, it looks like crap. Uh, we're told that there's something in here that could help against Lavos, and it's a boss. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for it, but we'll give it a try. But the boss uses fire attacks, and the armor I just got reduces fire damage to one-fifth, so it shouldn't deal too much damage on me so overall i think i can win but we'll try and now i'm also thinking maybe frog would be better We'll do Robo first. Screw it. <laughs> Why does the future look like New Jersey? You know what? You're not wrong. Future's just Newark. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, this should be fun. Uh, yeah, we'll give it a try. See what happens. I really don't know how to beat this guy yet. But we'll try it. The only thing I remember is I can't use water or magic attacks. Let's try this. Actually, I meant to heal. That's fine. It's all good. I missed all that. Yeah, so those attacks that he's doing now, like Flare, that I was doing like double or triple the damage I think before. Four fits the damage. So that would probably like one hit KO me. Yeah, I think I need to actually take out the fire. I think it's the only thing I can damage. I just can't damage it that much. You seem much more prepared tonight. Yeah, this is the one I ran into before by an accident. I had like two hits a couple streams back. Just accidentally ran into it. I was like, oh, it's this. 
Or no, it was Monday. Yeah, Monday. It's past week. Just gonna give it a try. Problem is, I don't know. Don't know how magic's gonna do. Yeah, it's not gonna do anything. <laughs> Sneaky eyeball, seriously. I'm trying to figure out when to attack the eyeball. His eyes are closed. Let me just try. Nothing. So you can attack the fire, it's just not doing much. to attack its eye when it's open. Maybe with magic. Because it does like a roulette spin. I saw that one time the eye was open. I think that's when I have to attack. Otherwise I can only attack the Higher? I guess? Yeah. Gonna treat him like he's a ghost type, though. <laughs> Pretty much. I just need to get that foresight and then I'm good. Hmm. Like right there. I think now I can attack. I might have been too slow. Forget. Yeah, right, right where I can't. <laughs> I gotta time it though. She's starting to debate even attacking the fire is worth it. It's not doing anything. Alright, got it. I don't got it. <laughs> There's gotta be something I can do. Physical attack when its eyes open? I don't know when to attack the eye. Sneaky, sneaky. Yes, very sneaky. I'm just gonna try these attacks and see what happens. Yep, just heals. Cool. I say Robo might die. <laughs> I say I hit every single one of them. 
Now we're good. Alright. I think the strategy is to take the fire out. Just not dealing much damage to it. The only other thing was I was thinking of using a different character. So I've tried, well, I've already tried one attack, so that's not gonna work. I've tried anything magic, it doesn't work. What the hell was that? Wait. What the hell was that? <laughs> Is that the game? I get it. Okay. This is bonkers, seriously. So I have to choose the correct fire and then attack. I'm dying. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. All right, so it wasn't the bottom left. We'll try top right. Or bomb ray, I mean, sorry. God. Alright, real quick. Damn it. <laughs> Try again. Nope. Alright, so you have to choose the correct fire. And that's going to be the one that's going to do the damage. Nope. I feel like at about time I get this correct, it's just going to do the roulette thing again. <laughs> Got it. I hope I can do this really quick. Alright, we're good. Oh wait, that's gonna heal. Will it? Yeah, it healed. Cool. It's impossible to guess which one it is. The only thing I'm worried about is overhealing. Is that such a thing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad to be hasty. <laughs> Alright, it's this one. I think it's this one. I was wrong. Got it. Just tack away. I wonder if there's a way you can like tell which one? It's just regular attacks. That's weird. Such a weird boss. 
Or actually, fuel. Got a little greedy. Son of Sun is losing its light. Is that it? Hey everyone, cool, GG's. Watch it be like it's not even my final form. I'm just waiting for that. Hypes indeed. I forgot I had a hype command. <laughs> yeah, fix that. I don't even think it's a hype, it's like a gasp command. Yeah, I might be a little bit more hype. <laughs> uh, I don't like the looks of this. Just, just uh, let's kill everyone. This is a sunstone of antiqui antiquity. <laughs> I, I can read. Uh, it appears to have lost the light it once possessed. However, it may be possible to recharge it by exposing it to sunlight for a long enough period of time. By my best estimate, it will require a minimum of 65 million years of constant exposure. I wonder where I could bring it. 65 million years? Maybe I should go to the time period from 65 million years ago. <laughs> My problem is I don't know where to place it. Here? That's a lighter. I'll just talk to some people and see if they hints me to anything. Find strange rock, but icky when touch. So definitely not that guy. <laughs> 65 million years? What a conundrum. <laughs> so where where can I go that's 65 million years from now? Yeah, everyone here is starting to freeze over now. I don't know. These are just salesmen. <laughs> Got anything for me? I look at people, good, nice people, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Nothing really important. Uh, pretty much everyone's just cold. <laughs> Shame. So I fly over a volcano. Usually they give you like hints of what you should do and where to put stuff, but it's like nothing. It's just like, oh, burger cold. Okay, cool. Let's keep looking. Don't think it's here. Maybe it's where Lavas was. Is this, this still a thing? It is. Ah, uh, this is a poor portal. Never mind. I have to place the moonstone somewhere. I forgot I have flying dragons. Maybe up here? Thurba Rose? 
you good friend? Anu, what? What's the matter? I was sound asleep. Can you not, not get some rest? Can Anu not get some rest? I changed Chrono's name, so please let me go back to my dreams. Anu? Wait, what? No. Oh, I forgot I don't need the stone, so I give it to you. Silver gemstone. What's happening? Nighty night. Give me all your swag. Enable spin strike triple tech. I feel like he gave me something really good. I don't know what it is. It's just some skill. But. There's only one other place I can think of. That would be up here. Cause there's like a mountain peak at the pot top of the, the pop. The top of a uh, dactyle nest. So I could leave something up here. Can't think of anywhere else to bring it. And even then once I place it, it's like, okay, where can I go to get it back? world may never know. <laughs> Gotta fight these rock toads. Always. How's your paper been going, by the way? How was your... Did you take your test today? Or was that yesterday? Like the index cards and all that. Basal reflex stuff. I did, it was awful. I am sorry to hear that. But you know what? You got it done with. That's what matters. This time he didn't release preliminary grades to us, so I have no idea. It's over for now. It is. Let's move on from it. Until the next one. But you don't have to worry about it right now. It's in the calm before the paper storm. <laughs> Almost started tra Chrono Trigger. Hey, you know, you're kind of right there. How you doing, brother? I all didn't know Brent had a stream yesterday. And I was a witness to it. If you, if you know what I mean. I witnessed it. My own two eyes. Yeah. Yeah, he streamed yesterday. He played a game called The Witness. <laughs> This economy? Yes, sir. In my me? <laughs> uh, yes, you. Be uh, poor for poor. He did the streams thing. Bren stream? Bren did stream. If Brand does a puzzle stream and I'm not here to see it, does it really happen? True. True. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what? I'm trying to think of an idea to counter that. I nothing. Logical. Cries in depression. I'm sure his VOD's still there though, right? Again? Sir, do you know when you may stream again? It's not the same. <laughs> I feel that.
Let's <laughs> not go green. <laughs> Please. Let's just let's just give let's give Brent a little bit of a shout out. If you aren't you ain't following him already. Psycho crazy. Let's go wild. Alright. Also, I have no freaking clue where the place is stoned. 6 30 p.m. local time. Gotcha. There's something I was hoping you might help me with. A legend in our village tells of a tool known as the golden hammer. I'd like you to search for it. Tail says it's made from a wooden, a wood of a golden tree, but I'm afraid I can't tell you very much else. Sure. I won't remember. <laughs> Looking for the golden hammer, you say? Well, there's a patch of golden sand in the flower meadow down. I don't. I'll put this moonstone down somewhere. I don't know where to look. So many interesting things. Okay, but how's everyone else doing mentally and academically? Uh, academically, actually very good. I had a slow work day and I was able to sneak a browser tab on my work computer and I actually got some homework done. I think I might do the same thing tomorrow. So hopefully I can get all my schoolwork done early for the week. But I have to get started on some final project stuff for one of my classes. Our group project, we have a, <laughs> a final, pro what do they call it? A final project like research wrap up or like, rev uh, I can't find the word. A progress report that we have to write. It has to be a two-page progress report. That's a group assignment that we have to submit by Sunday. Uh, I have not heard back from my group in two weeks. So this weekend's going to be a doozy just for that one simple little thing. So that's going to go great. Like... Honestly, looking at it too, it's like, it doesn't even feel like a group project. Like we buy our own little thing. This is the RFID thing I showed before, but it's just like, it should just be individual. <laughs> I got to talk to my professor about it. Let's rest. Group project, AKA PR, he does most of it, pretty much. Uh, I have much reading to do. Reading? Because people are the worst. <laughs> Gail. Mentally, I have been better because we won't have exam scores until probably Monday. But I work tomorrow night and I'm off Saturday, Sunday. So be ready if you need to go break. I'll be around. Honestly, I might. I might accept that. <laughs> I will definitely let you know. Group projects should not be group projects so they can be completely solo. True. Or a beer. Or whatever. Why not Mogo with beer? It's the perfect, perfect mix. Maybe not. Oh, well, maybe. If you drink enough. To which I do not want to do that. But... Maybe I should. I don't know. I don't know. That's all I got. I don't. I'm at a point where I just don't know. This music's a freaking bop. This 
This is area gives me the most uh, Donkey Kong Country vibes. It's the closest thing I can think of to Donkey Kong Country. Bren, it's not far. It's only like an hour and a half drive. <laughs> you can do it! <laughs> but seriously, no pressure. Yeah, the train too. I was gonna mention the train. I was like, that's like maybe two hour, three hour train. But you know what? You can get there. And then subways. And I'm actually not gonna lie, it's gonna be very nice this weekend. Very nice. I think I saw Sunday supposed to be like 70. Here, I'm like, why? It's like 30 tomorrow, 70 Sunday. I'm like, why? Spring, hello. Yeah. It's supposed to be really nice this weekend. Or at least I know Sunday is supposed to be really nice. I'm not sure about Saturday. Will the beer garden be open upstairs? That's a good question. If it is, I'd be down. But even in the winter. So if you don't know what the beer garden is, because obviously none of you will, <laughs> other than me and SoCal, but they have an upstairs and even then during the winter, they have these like globes, like these little snow globe looking things, like little igloos. <laughs> snow globes. Igloos. They can kind of just like sit in. I don't know if they still have that. I saw 69. I didn't. <laughs> Dang it. Beer grind upstairs just sounds really nice. Yeah. But essentially, it's just an outdoor bar on the roof, terrace roof. You know, like the so-called just <laughs> What? I don't know where to put this freaking man. I'm a little lost. Yeah, like that, you know. <laughs> just imagine you have like a little tavern downstairs and then you can take a f stairs up and it's just outdoor bar. But I still need to get back to you on St. Patrick's Day. Oh, true. Yeah. <laughs> we should probably put this all together. Hey, Mel, like, how you doing? Yeah, the St. Patrick's, um, the St. Palentine's Day. For some reason, I want to say massacre. <laughs> how you doing, Mel? Like, welcome on in. Let me give you a shout out. What was your stream today, sir? Playing Mario Golf. How was that? <laughs> Massacre, sir. Yeah. <laughs> like, it just rolls off the tongue well, even though I know that's not what it is. Uh, there was a Kirby and the Forgotten Land demo. Wait, is there? So I'm like two seconds away from down, though, like that. I didn't know there was a demo out. St. Valentine's Friends Massacre. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's good. Surprise drop today from Nintendo. I haven't kept up with anything today. Like, at all. That is a treat. That really is a treat. Kirby's like one of those games that's coming out like, I want it. Because it's just, it's Super Mario Odyssey by Kirby. And I'm totally down for that. But also, life. <laughs> nice and sweet. I just want to turn into the car. <laughs> I just want to see what it's like. What do they call it? Mouthful mode or something like that? Nintendo knew what they were doing. Be real. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, let's just check this area. I mostly explore everywhere so for the best. That's how I feel about it too, right down to the music. That's so good. It's a typo, it's actually Carby. Carby. Goes yoink. <laughs> Says our Kirby sounds clearly. Carby. Thank you for thank you for reading here. Appreciate it. If you haven't followed, it'll go right ahead. Streams a lot of Nintendo. Oh, he does a lot of 4K, 4K widescreen looking streams, if I recall. Like the. It's after. Oh, damn, it's after 1130. <laughs> Ultra wide. That's the word I'm looking for. Listen, it's almost midnight. <laughs> How's a work schedule working for you? Uh, oh, you know. Listen, I just have to be up in seven hours. It's not a big deal. Actually, thinking about that, seven hours doesn't sound too bad. You know? <laughs> I might try to just walk out of here and wrap, but... But hey, all I have to think about is just working tomorrow, and then I can sleep. <laughs> Sleep Friday. I will have like a serotonin high just because it's TJF. I'll be fine. It'll be great. It's gonna be fine. It's be great. I said that twice. Exactly why I had to wrap up, but I don't blame you for continuing to play a legendary RPG from the legendary RPG era. True. But those are words. And I agree with. Sorry. <laughs> Great. Best part of work tomorrow? Zero meetings. Hell yeah, Bren. Are you putting some more Final Fantasy XIV? Quackens. Quacks time? <laughs> what? Ow. Where the fuck do you put this man? I'm sorry. <laughs> I might just think it over. I'm tired. There's only a couple of areas I haven't looked. I gotta look in here. There's a forest, I think, somewhere I could explore. It's not in here. Literally only one more spot I haven't looked. I think I'll try looking there real quick and then if it's out there, I'll just give up for now. Uh, the school sent out a survey asking our opinion on the current remote hybrid policy. And I was like, look, just let me work from home full time. It is way better for us all this way. I wish my, I had that option. I had to be on campus today. Oh, Rutgers. I'm so sorry. Funny story with a employee that I do work with that's been working from home for the past like three or four months while all of us had to work in the office. He, uh, he sort of got busted <laughs> by one of our VPs because apparently over the weekend he went to the Army and basketball game. I don't know where it was, but he went to Army and Navy game and just so happened one of our VPs were there. They had a conversation talking to with them. And the VP pretty much told him, like, oh, if you're well enough to go to an RB Navy basketball game, you're well enough to work in the office. So he came back to the office on Monday. And I guess he's working in the office going forward. So that's how he got busted. Uh, the commute is worse. Getting into the parkway from New York. Construction has gone through a five-lane toll. Ugh. 
Honestly, the parkway is a pain in the ass. The only one thing I like about my new job is that I can avoid the parkway now. But I don't miss the park, especially up north though. North part, north on the parkway is the worst. <laughs> Okay, I think technically I am supposed to be going to campus one day a week for work, but I haven't been and I'm not going to until someone makes me. No, it's fair. I'm proud of you. It was terrible. <laughs> terrible. Uh, pry that work from home from your cold, dead hands, am I right? <laughs> sounds, it sounds a car catastrophe. Please. I'm just hoping that, uh, I don't know. So I know I've told SoCal about this before. Like we have one employee who will get away with anything just because his father owns a part of the company or he was like part of the company, like a manager of the company at one point. So he kind of has like family ties within the company and his godfather just happens to be the CEO. So he's been working from home 24 seven ever since Christmas break. Everyone else has to work in the office though. And he does no work at all. I hate this kid. It's like, it feels like one of those situations where like you see it in real life. Like you see it in like a TV show or a movie. It's the first time I've ever experienced it in real life. It sucks. I ride on the inside. No, trust us, all everyone knows. Even managers know. They just know they can't do anything about it. They say anything. He speaks up. It's <sighs> seriously, I'm the same. Like, what did I do wrong? Did I just circle this entire thing? Got nothing. So that's just great. <laughs> like, <laughs> I actually have to scrape with my own merit. <laughs> Unfair. These are all true things. Now I'm just, I'm just, I don't know. I am tired, but I'm also just tired of that kid. Really fucking fortunate we have a lot of merit going around here. Yeah, true. I'm, I'm giving up for now. <laughs> I think I'm actually mentally exhausted at this point. And I should probably get ready for bed, if I'm being truthfully honest. But I did try to beat the final boss today. Died in two shots. At least it wasn't a one shot. It's only two shots. <laughs> so you know what? I'll call today progress. Um, yeah, thank everyone for being here. Bears for the raid, not only for the raid. So I saw Patty in here today, thank you. Brother. So cool. Number. Steak. He said hi, thank you for being here. Everyone knows here, I really appreciate it. Um, 